It's been less than two decades since scientists coined the term dark energy. If the universe were just like a ball being thrown up in the air, you'd expect when you throw the ball up, it goes up for a while, then it comes back down. Or you'd expect the universe to expand and maybe stop and then start contracting again. But when we observe the motions of the galaxies in the universe, we find that instead of slowing down, they speed up away from each other. It's almost as if that ball you threw up in the air after a certain time has a little rocket engine that fires and makes it go further and further away from the Earth faster and faster. And the rocket is dark energy. It is dark because it is unknown. Scientists mostly talk about what it is not. If you have something made of particles, what happens is as the universe expands, those particles dilute away. But with dark energy, there is no such dilution. The amount stays the same as the universe expands. And how we interpret that is it's not particles at all. It's really just an intrinsic energy that space itself contains. Dark energy may be even harder to study because its very nature isn't just mysterious, it may actually be hidden. So there's something called the chameleon mechanism that makes the dark energy hide from us, that makes the force that is caused by dark energy be invisible to our experiments. It's like a chameleon gets camouflaged by being in a background. The chameleon version of dark energy looks exactly like gravity. You don't observe any new long-range forces. The most baffling question about dark energy sounds deceptively simple. How much is there? The amount of dark energy that we have is utterly mysterious. No one knows why it's that amount. If there were a little bit more dark energy in the universe, it would have expanded so rapidly that stars and galaxies would have never formed. If there were a little bit less dark energy in the universe, the universe would have crunched back in together on itself. Scientists even suspect that the amount of dark energy might vary in different regions of the universe. Maybe there are regions of the universe where it is big. We just happen to find ourselves here in a region where the dark energy is relatively mild. And if that's true, it certainly changes our vision of what the universe is and what our place in that universe is. <laughs> 